Hi there, Stephanie Arnold here, Beachbody Coach and founder of the Anchored Nation team, and I'm going to walk you through how to do your follow-ups from after hosting a live event on Facebook. So where I'm going to go, I'm at my event right now, but I'm going to show you how to get there after the fact. So you're going to go to your homepage, and on the left-hand side, you should be able to click events, and then you're going to go to past events. And this live event, what is coaching, is what I'm going to go back to right now. And what this is, is just if, if you don't know yet, I invite, um, our team invited about 203 people to come hang out with us last night at night from 9 to 10 p.m. And we posted about every five minutes about our business opportunity, about our product line, about what it means to be on our team, about why we coach, about what it looks like to be a part of our community and our challenge groups and, and results that we've gotten from our products as well. So we kind of invite everybody to come hang out and it's a really um, it's a really cool way without people like super committing to attending a long webinar or something because this is a really easy thing to do while you're just like watching mindlessly watching TV you can join in and check us out or, or, or join us with this event to come kind of learn a little bit about coaching in a non-threatening kind of way so but a lot of those people that come do not actually RSVP to these events. So you'll see here that I have 22 went and two were interested in this event. But these numbers are beforehand. These are calculated when I send out the invitations, people clicking, yes, I'm going to go, and maybe I'm interested in this event. This does not talk, this does not, um, account for anybody that actually didn't show up. So a couple of these people I know didn't make it, and a couple of them, and I know more people did. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, figure out who came to our event so we know who to follow up with and who to say thanks for coming. So if you go to these dot 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 option right here, you can export your guest list. So that's what we're going to do. And it creates a, a CSV file, which is just a, a very simple Excel document. It's going to open in a moment. Come on. Open. Maybe it's already open. Come on. Well, normally that opens right away. Let's figure out what's going on here. Do I have too many things open? Can't find what I'm looking for. What's it gonna take me? Oh, that's Microsoft. Come on. Um, come on, Excel. Open recent. Okay, maybe it's not. Okay, here we go. I don't know why this is being so many steps. It shouldn't be, but here we go. Okay, finally. It opened. This is it. Okay, guess list one. This was my download. Okay, so now we have this Excel spreadsheet here, and it's got a list of everyone's names that um, wrote going at the top. A couple people that said they might come. The maybe those were the interested people, and then the rest of us list is people that we invited that either didn't respond or said no. And it doesn't even mark if they said no. It just says they were invited. So we have a list to start with, and I'm gonna actually go ahead and turn this into a table by just highlighting it like this and if I go to insert table and make sure that I tell it my table has headers that means that it won't sort these ones here at the top level right okay and then now I can use this arrow here to sort in alphabetical order this will make it easier for me while I'm looking to see who attended the event so and then I'm gonna add one more column here actually okay I'll just put, that's a weird word attended attended okay so, and then I'm going to add this comment. I'm going to add in to this later on. But this is what we're going to start with, is attended. So we're going to open up our Facebook event. And I told you we walked through several different posts. So you're going to scroll down to the bottom here and say, see, I think either one of these will take you there. See all posts or see discussion. But it's now going to list all of the posts from the event in chronological order backwards. So the most recent to the first one that we did. And we did it a lot of posts. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And then realize that these first couple posts are people saying, hey, I wish I could make it, but I can't. And my first official post here was 17 hours ago. It says, welcome, welcome, and blah, blah, blah. Here's the post. So I want to know all of these people that liked this. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to open this baby up. 
my name, I don't really count. So we're gonna, we have that, and now we have this list here, and this is in alphabetical order. So everybody here, I can just say, attended, yes, or X, or something easy. And I'm gonna go down and add everybody in. Let's see, Stephanie Garrison, attended, and Grant Branch. Um, you can also, if, if, if that's taking too much time for you, if you go to, um, where is it, on this, so, uh, no, come on, where's it, find and replace, Okay, well, find. Okay, there it is. So we're going to click find. And this will make it actually a little easier to find the names instead of going through with this long list of people here. We can tell it to find what? Find Gail DuBose. Perfect. The new update sucks with Excel. So you may, it, you have to close that out. So it may just be easier to do it this way. Anyhow, okay. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to go through and every person on this list, Kimberly Watson. Let's see. Beautiful. And if you come to people that are not on this list, that weren't invited or RSVP'd, add them to the bottom and just give them new, or, you know, or something like that. Give them a new, another status title and just say what they attended. Um, so and you can just add them on that way. Super simple, easy to go. So then you're going to do the same thing. You did it for all the likes, now you're going to do all the comments. Same thing. If this name was already on our list, so we're going to ignore it. Once she's on the list, that's all that matters. We just want need to know that they showed up and liked or commented on one thing. That's all I want. This is somebody else saying they couldn't come. And then from here on out, pretty much all of the posts are going to be our, our scheduled posts. They'll all titled either with a timestamp on the top, or it says post number, or it might say bonus post, and it's either posted by me or a coach on our team with a pretty graphic or a video attached. So they're pretty easy to spot. And so you're just going to go through, and again, same same concept, same list. We're not. It's not per post here. It's just I just want to know each person that attended or commented. So we're going to go do that for every single post here. I think there's about 25 total posts. And then, once we have this list of who attended, then we will send out a thanks for coming. I'm so glad you you know made it. Whether they're, if they're a coach on the team, or just we'll a lot of these are coaches that are already in our on our team. We'll say thanks for supporting us. Thanks for being here and showing up as a leader. You're awesome. And then for people that were our prospects, we'll make sure we follow up and say hey, did, thanks for joining us last night. Did you have any questions? Could I help you with anything? You know, did you want to get started on our team? So. We have that. We'll send those messages after the fact. But we all know that the fo the proof is in the follow up or put the what is it? The pudding proof is in the pudding. No, that's the wrong statement. Um, <laughs> follow up is where you're going to get results. A lot of times people won't just attend a live event and then just sign up on their own. Like you want to talk to them. You want to answer any questions. They still have hesitations and they're nervous about certain things. So we want to walk through that and talk with that. Talk through that with them. So. We know that follow-up is really what's going to help us make that happen. So that's how you get your guest list. Once you have this, just save this document. You can upload it to a Google Doc, or you can just use it from Excel, whatever you're comfortable with. And you have your list of who attended, and you know who to follow up with. I hope this is helpful for you guys, and you'll have a fabulous day.